Hey guys, good evening. So, <clears throat> I decided that uh, I wanted to do something a little bit different on the channel today, um, since so far we've really only been doing the podcast. Um, I am a uh, bit of a, I don't want to say avid, maybe avid's the right word, a bit of an avid uh, baseball card collector. And uh, I had got a couple of boxes of the 2021 Bowman Mega and decided that this would be a good opportunity to uh, stream it on the on this channel here instead of my own channel and just kind of get some more, uh, more content here. So um, we're going to go ahead and open both of these boxes. And I have this uh, pack of 1994 Fleer Flare Series 2. Um, I actually got this for free with some cards that I got in a group break. Um, so I figured we'll go ahead and open up uh, all of these. Uh, it should be fun. Uh, so the Bowman Mega, um, it's the retail product for Bowman, but it has two special packs in each box. And uh, the packs are five cards each instead of ten, like the normal ones in that pack, or in this uh, the normal packs in this box, um, but they are the Mojo Chrome Refractors. And so those Mojo Refractors, if you get those of like the, the high guys in the in the set, which, uh, let's see, uh, it's all rookies on the front there, so it's none of those guys. But uh, if you get it of, in this set, it would be like Austin Martin, um, Aaron Sabato, um, Blaze Jordan, uh, Maximo Acosta, um, those regular cards, um, even if they're not a color or an autograph, go for like something like a hundred bucks. So, um, there's a lot of really good cards in just those two packs. Um, so that makes these pretty valuable. Um, so that's the odds of what we're going to be pulling. There we go. Um, and the no purchase necessary. Um, so... Reading the odds, it sounds like you can get uh, parallels of in the regular packs, but so far I've not seen a single person pull a parallel out of a regular pack. So I'm not really sure what that's about, but we'll give it a try. So we'll go ahead and probably start with the Fleer Flare, because it's kind of the most meh um, product here. Um, it was from the Junk Wax era. Uh, I actually have a whole bunch of 93 um, flair, and it's an interesting little set. Um, I don't think Fleer still exists, so there's certainly not new versions of these cards anymore. Um, let's see. Limited edition inserts, 1 in 6 packs at, to 1 in 21 packs. Um, so that would be the infield power, the hot glove, the wave of the future, two uh, cards, and then there's 200 cards in the base set. So here we go. There it is. So this is the design on Fleer Flare, and it was pretty much... Or, pretty similar uh, across every year, every year of it that I've seen. So it's got the, the image over the image. Um, so we have uh, Brett Saberhagen, Brady Anderson, which I like these better than the, the 93 because you could actually read who this is, uh, Mark Aker, uh, Mike Fetters, Chad Curtis, Steve Avery, there is no bubble gum in this, actually. So uh, this was the higher end cards of the 90s. So they didn't put gum in with this one. Uh, let's see. Greg Gore. Gore? Yeah, Greg Gore. Uh, Wes Chamberlain. We got Jeff King. And then we have the Wave of the Future uh, set two of Tony Tarasco. So this is one of the the what they called limited edition inserts, but are now just insert cards. <laughs> kind of the cheapest ones in the set, usually. All right, 
So now we get to the fun stuff. I'm actually going to open up both of these boxes and take out the regular Bowman packs and separate them from the Bowman Mega packs, and then we'll open all the regular and then all of the Mega. Um, so give me one moment. some of this garbage out of here. Alright. So yeah, so these are going to be your Mega Box Packs. Um, so these are the ones that are the, the Mojo Refractor, and I'll show you what that means here whenever I get to opening them. Um, but I'm going to pull all four of those off to the side here. Uh, try and leave them on camera there as best I can. Um, and then we have uh, eight regular uh, Bowman packs of 10 cards each. So there should be, um, let's see, what would it be? Maybe three veteran players, so current major leaguers. And then there'll be two, or well, an insert, potentially. And then there will be two prospect chrome cards. And then there will be prospect paper uh, behind that is kind of how these packs are put together. So, I guess. So, like, we have Sean Murphy of Oakland, and then Kyle Lewis, Max Scherzer, Chris Bryant, Anthony Santander. Okay, so they do five, two, and three then. And then in the Chrome, we have Jeter Downs, um, Hunter Bishop, Garrett Mitchell, uh, Hyun Il Choi, first Bowman, and Geraldo Perdomo. So with these uh, cards, um, in these packs in particular, really you're just hoping to hit a normal Bowman Chrome first of really anybody. Um, so, and the four guys I mentioned earlier, the Maximo Acosta, Austin Martin, um, Aaron Sabota, and Blaze Jordan, those are the ones that you really, really want. Um, but if I were to get one of them and I could only get it once out of all of these packs, I'm hoping it's out of these megas. Let's see. So pack two, we got Bobby Dahlbeck, Christian Pache, Kybert Ruiz, Luis Patino, and Mike Trout. So four rookies and then the GOAT. So I like that pack. And then our Chrome, we got Jeremy Pena and Justin Foscue. And then we also have the Austin Hendrick, James Beard, and Blake Walston. So no firsts in that pack, but all right. Let's see Castillo, Bellinger, Donaldson, Nola, Joey Gallo, Nolan Jones, Baron Laura. He was one of the best cards you could have gotten the set last year, actually. Uh, Braden Shoemake. Uh, Jordan Groshans, and Freudus Nova. Some of these are a pain in the butt to open. All right, uh, Vladdy, we got Lou Bob, Frederick Freeman, Tanner Houck, Sam Huff, and then Jaron Duran. He is potentially going to get called up this year to play center for Boston. Uh, there's a lot of people are hyped about him. And then Logan Gilbert, this is the guy that um, I was uh, talking up. Uh, <laughs> this is the guy I was talking up a couple weeks ago that just debuted for Seattle a uh, little over a week ago now. Him and uh, Jared Kelnick debuted in the same day. Gunnar Henderson and Drew Waters. So, so far... No first Bowman Chromes. Let's hope our luck changes. All right. So now we got Andres Jimenez, Dylan Carlson, uh, rookie of the year favorite, one of my favorite players. And not to flex too hard, but I do have a the start of a nice little PC here for him. Got a couple other cards in here, uh, a couple Bowman 
sapphires and stuff from the last couple of years. Uh, let's see, Glaber Torres, Tristan Cassis, uh, Ismael Mena. So I don't know much about Mena, but he is a first bowman, so I'll have to look him up. He was signed as an international free agent out of the Dominican Republic in 2019. He is apparently incredibly fast, um, making his professional debut this year as the number 27 prospect in the Padres organization, and he has a 70-grade speed prospect rating. Let's see Casey Martin and Riley Green. So go ahead and pull that one out. see. Then we got Blake Snell, Hugh Darvish, Tariq Skubal, Clark Schmidt, Tristan McKenzie, Alec Thomas, Nick Maton, first Bowman. So Nick Maton is actually from uh, the uh, right around the town I grew up in uh, there in central Illinois. So he went to high school in uh, Glenwood uh, High School there in Chatham. Um, so kind of hyped to have a couple of his firsts. Um, let's see, Jared Kelly, Junior Sever, or, uh, Severino, and Jose Tena. And I actually just got a Tena first Bowman autograph here a couple weeks ago. It's somewhere sitting right here. But, um, yeah, so I'm pl uh, s pleased with that uh, Nick Maton. Add that to my little collection. He started out really, really hot. He came up to fill in in uh, Philly uh, when they had some injuries, and he went on a tear to start his career. So, um, let's see. So we got Casey Mize, Debbie Garcia, Jake Cronenworth, Luis Camposano, Ronald Acuna, Christopher Morel, first Bowman uh, for the Cubs, and then Jared Kelnick. So we got both Gilbert and Kelnick. And there's Kay Cavalli. Christopher Morrell first paper, and Nolan Gorman, who I also have in my PC. Um, I've got his first Bowman um, Chrome Sky Blue, I think. It's the, the good card of his that I have in my collection here. All right. Um, last regular pack, and then we just got the Mega Packs, and that's about it. So... Let's see, we got Shane Bieber, Christian Yelich, Sean Murphy, Kyle Lewis, Max Scherzer, Grayson Rodriguez, Mackenzie Gore, the number one prospect in the Padres organization. I ex well, I say I expect him to come up this year, but unless they have some injuries in their rotation, I don't know if he's going to get a shot. Antonio Gomez, um, that's a good one. Grayson Rodriguez again, and Dylan Dingler. All right. Now to the fun stuff. So we have 20 cards here. And this is where all of the value is in this pack. Or in these, these boxes here. So the Mojo Refractors are this uh, kind of patterned and then rainbow. So they're really nice. I'm a big fan. Um, and if you get one that's a first, they can go for some pretty pretty good money. I think the Wander Franco um, first Bowman mojo uh, is like $350 if it grades out as a PSA 10. Let's see, So we got Jordan Adams, Jaron Duran, Rookie of the Year favorites, Nick Madrigal. Uh, and there are um, autographs and uh, colors and things in these mojo refractors that you can get. Adley Rutschman and Tyler Soderstrom. So some really good prospects in there. Pack number two. All right, we got Patrick Bailey, Mackenzie Gore. Oh, my goodness. That is a nice little hit right there. Nick Gonzalez, he uh, uh, on-card auto. Nick Gonzalez is one of the... Uh, he was the seventh overall pick last year. So in the Bowman draft, he's one of the guys that you want. 
So let's go ahead and sleeve that puppy up right now. I did not expect to get anything other than base out of these packs. So holy cow. It's 1 in 15 for an auto. And I've been watching other people open a bunch of these uh, here today. And there hasn't been a ton of great luck. So wow. Uh, and then Heston Kerstad, who was the number two overall pick. Yeah, number two overall pick last year. So... Like I said, we've got some good prospects in here. So far, no firsts, but that Nick Gonzalez will certainly make up for it if there's no firsts in here. And then, let's see, we got two more packs. All right. Just make sure I don't have another auto that's going to sneak up on me here. All right, so Tristan Cassis. Josiah Gray, Rookie of the Year favorites, Andres Jimenez. We got a Helio Ramos and Andrew Vaughn. And then our final pack of the night. These are not tearing straight. Ooh, okay. I like that. So let's do this. Uh, so we got uh, Taylor Trammell, Alec Thomas, Braden Shoemake. I'm actually going to pull off the back here. We have a Heston Kerstad Futurist insert. And then we have a color. And I'm not sure which color this is. It's not sky blue. We have a Jason Rosario out of 225. So I don't actually know anything of, oh, why won't this focus? It's a beautiful card. Um, let's see, he signed with the Padres in 2016 as an international free agent. He's the number 16 prospect in the Red Sox organization and an outfielder. So I'll have to do some looking into the value on that card, but... We actually did a lot better with these uh, than I expected after watching some videos today. So I am I am very pleased. And that's not going to focus again. Oh, there it goes. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, uh, please leave a uh, or like and a comment on the video uh, on YouTube uh, when I get it uploaded there. And have a great night.